Hello and welcome to Daily Reflection with Anil Arana. Today is the 6th of October 2019. We're going to reflect on Luke 17, 5 to 10. Listen. <clears throat> the Apostle said to the Lord, increase our faith. And the Lord replied, if you had faith as small as a mustard seed, you could say to this mulberry tree, be uprooted and planted in the sea and it would obey you. Who among you would say to your slave who has just come in from the plowing or tending sheep in the field, come here at once and take your place at the table. Would you not rather say to him, prepare supper for me, put on your apron and serve me while I eat and drink, later you may eat and drink. Do you thank the slave for doing what was commanded? So you also, when you have done all that you were ordered to do, say, we are worthless slaves, we have done only what we ought to have done. The Gospel of the Lord. One day the apostles went to Jesus and said to him, increase our faith. They didn't believe they had enough faith. We often imagine we don't have enough faith either, so we try to pray more, fast more, study more, believing that doing these things will give us more faith. But do you see the problem with this? It makes faith about us, what we do, and not about God and what He does. Let me try to explain this in another way. Luke speaks about several people whom Jesus praises for their faith. One was a Roman centurion who went to great lengths to have a trusted servant healed. And Jesus exclaims, I tell you, I have not found such great faith even in Israel. Another was a sinful woman who poured ointment and kissed Jesus' feet. Not only did Jesus forgive her sins, he also said, your faith has saved you. Go in peace. Another person was a woman who touched Jesus to be healed of a bleeding. Daughter, he said to her, your faith has healed you. Yet another was a blind beggar who wanted to see, and Jesus said to him, receive your sight, your faith has healed you. Still another person was a Samaritan leper who returned to thank him, and Jesus said to him, rise and go, your faith has made you well. Now contrast this with the times Jesus rebuked the apostles for a lack of faith. When they were in a boat with Jesus and a storm hit them, they got so anxious that Jesus had to ask, where is your faith? When Peter began to sink after his brief walk on water, Jesus reached out his hand and caught him and said, you of little faith, why did you doubt? Much later, knowing that Peter would deny him, Jesus prayed that his faith would not fail him. What was the difference? All the other people we looked at believed that Jesus could do what they couldn't do for themselves and handed over their problems to Him. Do we believe that Jesus can do this for us? Then we simply hand over everything to Him, believing that He cares enough about us to want to bless us. I've noticed in my own life that the only times I cannot do anything is when I depend on my own abilities to do them. So the question is not about increasing our faith, about, but about having faith at all. Because you know what? If we have faith as small as a mustard seed, we will see miracles happen.